Welcome. Good night, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. We do have. Thank you. We do have your um, never call me again. Welcome to my live stream. Let me know if um, you're hearing me clearly. We're going to get started right away. Um, Pretty Vibes is on Instagram. Thanks for joining and uh, we'll get started. So welcome to Inspirational Connection TV, where we share, connect, and talk about all the things that inspires, motivates, and build confidence. In this video tonight, I'm gonna talk about being enough and how you were created to take, welcome, welcome, how you were created to take authority over your life, okay? So stay tuned to share in the conversation. So thank you so much for watching ICTV Live. If you don't know who I am and we have never met before, I am Samantha of Inspired by Samantha Matthews Brand. And it is a lifestyle brand that promotes inspiration, motivation, confidence, and love. So please drop a comment below. Let me know um, and share this video. And also, if you would like to get more inspirational videos and motivational videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn off that notification bell so you won't miss a video or an upload. Okay, and then you will also help support my channel. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna thank everyone. Take a moment to thank everyone that's already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate all of you. Um, I am now at 191, 191 subscribers, and I have a next goal to reach 250 by the 9th of May, okay? And how about, let's do a round of applause for that. Let's see. Let's drop some confetti. Let's drop some confetti. So we're almost there. So at 250 by the 9th of um, May, I would love to get to 250 subscribers. So that is my next goal, okay? So we'll go right on ahead and we'll jump into the word, the affirmation, uh, word of affirmation tonight, okay? So let's jump right on into that. So we all know that positive words are essential in our daily lives. And using words of affirmation are powerful ways to command positivity in your life. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the jar and see what the word of affirmation is. So I do this at the beginning of every one of my live streams. So we basically just pull a word out and we um, go ahead and we just speak it over our lives. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna pull one out and we'll see what it is tonight. And let's just see, I do have Right. Look, my husband's on YouTube. Hi, babe. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for watching. And let me know how everything looks on that end, hun. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the word of affirmation. And it says, ooh, this one says, I am whole. Meaning that you are complete. And what a fitting word tonight. Because we're going to be talking about being enough. And the word of affirmation tonight says, I am whole. So what I normally um, ask for my subscribers to do or my um, everyone that watches my live is to look yourself in the mirror, right? You want to look yourself in the mirror and you want to speak it over your life, that I am whole. You want to speak it with power and you want to affirm it as well. 
Okay, you wanna affirm it, speak with power, command it throughout your day. Now what I love, love, love about this um, affirmation jar, it's a product that encourages and builds self-confidence. And that is what you will get when you use these words of affirmation in your daily, daily lives, okay? So be sure to stick around to the end of this video for more um, inspirational products that will be available to you, okay? So let's get straight into another segment of Samantha's View, Straight From The Heart. And if you have any questions, those who are watching or comments, you can chime right in and I'll go back and I'll just pull up and, and just um, acknowledge your comments, okay? So we'll go right on ahead into the content. And tonight's topic is you are enough, okay? So one of my favorite quotes um, is the sun, moon, and stars are set in place. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Now the first thing that we have to always remember, right, is that we were created in the image of the creator God. The scripture says God created man in his own image, okay? For we are his works, workmanship, a work of art, a masterpiece, like a royal masterpiece. So if we know who created us and how we were created, then we will have the mindset to walk with confidence. We'll be able to walk with that confidence knowing that we are who God says we are. However, however, it's not always easy to do, right? It's not always easy to do. We know who created us. We know that we have power and authority and all these things, but it's not always easy to do. We find ourselves worrying about what people may say about us and how they see us, right, as an individual, right? When you're not sure if you're enough, right? When you're not sure if you're enough. So let me um, give you like a quick example. A lot of times we, we in ourselves don't really understand how the things that we do, we, are, we complain or maybe not even complain, but we're at a place where we're not sure if what we're doing is making any sense, right? We're not sure if what we're doing, thanks babe, we're not sure if what we're doing is making any sense. If, um, if our maybe job or entrepreneurship is making sense. So we question ourselves, are we sure? Are we doing enough? Are we enough ourselves to do what we're doing? So I'm gonna give you a few reminders, okay, to know that you are enough. So today, tonight, for this live stream, I want you to tell yourself a few things. I am amazing, okay? So you can repeat it after me, Instagram. You can repeat it after me. I am amazing, I am worthy. My best days are ahead of me. Tell yourself, you know your worth. And I rise today with full assurance that God has my back. He is with me and working on my behalf. And I got a testimony, I'll tell you about that later. I am blessed and highly favored. My struggles will not become my identity. I will push until something happens. Now, this is a really good one. I want you to um, listen to this one carefully. Life doesn't allow for me to go back and fix what I have done wrong in the past, but it does allow me to live each day better than my last. So what happened yesterday, don't worry about it. What happened yesterday, do not worry about it. Um, for 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, um, if anyone is in Christ, He's a new cre creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has become. So if you belong to the Father, you are made new. Your past mistakes and flaws do not have to be carried by you for one more second. So don't be thinking about what you did yesterday or feeling like you are not able to, to move on because you did something yesterday. Hey, Coffee Talking Text, how are you doing, John? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Right, so don't worry about what happened yesterday because that does not define you, okay? If you belong to him, you're a new creature. You're, you're able to move on from the things that happened yesterday. So listen, there is not, there are, are not always, everything is not going to be superb. You will sometimes feel disappointed in your current situation. I tell you, I've been there. But if you choose to find happiness in the little things believing that you are good just where you are, then everything will be okay. You have to be amazing. 
Um, John is on here and I'm telling you, I watch his live stream and he's doing a phenomenal job. He's doing a phenomenal job. You have to be, you know, you have to put yourself into that position that you are enough at what you're doing. There's so many things to learn, but you have to be amazing. Even when it looks like people don't want you to be great. Even when it looks like people don't want you to do what you're doing. Sometimes you yourself don't want to be great because there's so much to learn. Within three months, I've been doing this YouTube channel and I'm telling you, if it wasn't for people like John, right? I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at today in the things that I've learned. But sometimes you don't believe in yourself, but you have to learn how to tell yourself that you are amazing and that you can do the things that you are, you are putting foot forward to do. Okay. So tell yourself that, tell yourself what God said about you. Okay, he said his grace is sufficient for you. Your strength is made perfect in weakness. Sometimes you can't do it. Sometimes you feel like it's too much. For when you are weak, then you will become strong. When you're weak, you will then become strong. So tell yourself that. Do not allow for, um, do not allow, you know, for anything to stop you. There is so much out there. There's so much information. And if you just tell yourself these things, the word of affirmation that I start with every night, it's because these are positive words and it controls your day. It controls how you maneuver throughout your day, whatever you are doing, okay? It tells you exactly how your day is going to go. Get up and tell you that you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're creative, content creators. You are creative, right? You can create that content and make an impact. Okay, an impact in the world that you're in because you fit in, you belong, you belong. Okay, so always remember to do you. Do you, right? Never call me again, do you. Um, John at Coffee Talk and Tech, do you, be you, no matter what others say because they do not control your destiny. They do not control your destiny and you are enough just the way you are. You wanna build on your worth. Learn to love yourself. Learn to love yourself the way that you are and what you, it is that you're doing. Have confidence in your content. Have confidence in yourself and do this by using these affirmations. I am a creator. I am creative. I am genuine. I'm authentic. I am, you know, all these words that are in these affirmations, you want to use them daily. And a few of them is I am kind. I am powerful. I am loved, right? I am valued. My content is valuable to my viewers. It is valuable content that I'm putting down and giving to people. So you wanna tell yourself that every day. I am smart. I am strong. I am bold. Wow, I am brave. I am capable. I am capable of doing the things that I set out to do, right? I am enough. So you don't, there's, you're not lacking anything. You are not lacking. You have all that you need. Let me read a few comments. Thanks to going great. Thank you, thank you. Together we will succeed. That is true, together we will succeed. If we help each other, we will succeed together. Okay, so you wanna tell yourself these affirmation, right? You have to invest in you. There's not, no one else is gonna invest in you. You have to find the time to invest in you. A lot of times we, we put things out and we get frustrated because people are not um, putting, giving us back that feedback, right? But if you start investing in yourself and by using these affirmations now, by telling yourself that you can do what, you, what you're putting yourself out to do, you'll be able to accomplish so much accomplish so much. You want to tell yourself that you're beautiful inside and out. I have a t-shirt that says that. I am beautiful inside and out, right? John, and um, never call me again. I don't know your name, but um, I know John is at Coffee Talk and Tech. Tell yourself you're handsome and intelligent, right? You're everything you will ever need. You're everything that you'll ever need. And I do, do not watch the crowd do not worry about what the faces look like. Do not worry about people that come in and give you a thumbs down or say that wasn't good. You wanna set your face like a flint. And that meaning you're just going to ignore all the naysayers, ignore everyone that's giving you negative comments, right? Put your blinders on, put your, your, your you know, focus keeps right in front and do not look to the left, to the right, but just keep focus. okay? Because whatever God has ordained for you to do in your life, that is what you will do. No one is going to stop you from doing that. No one will ever. Hi, Robert. Okay, never come again, Robert. Thanks, Robert. 
No one, whatever God told you to do, Robert, is what you're going to do. So don't worry about what they say or, or the people that don't, don't say, well, I'm not watching your channel or I'm not subscribing or whatever the case may be, or they're not supportive to you. Who is supposed to support you will support you because whatever God signed, whatever God put into your life will come to fruition. Okay, he wants us to know that we are loved, we are valued. What we're doing is just enough. We're doing something that he is, he is like for, for instance, um, Coffee Talking Tech, John, right? He came and I came on his live stream one night just by accident hours because I'm always on YouTube now, right? And I popped in on his live stream. And ever since then, I mean, he's put so much into me. He is, has given so much things into me that I'm able to continue doing my channel. Okay, so he wants you to know, God wants you to know there is something, someone out there, there's someone there, there's some, um, something that it will come into um, alignment with what you are doing. So know that you're, you're just the way you, you are created just the way you are and things are going to happen for you um, according to his will, right? You are enough and you have enough. You're not lacking anything. Okay, there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about the the birds um, in the air, how um, the, the, it says, take no thought for your life or don't worry about what you're going to eat or um, worry about what you um, what you have. Don't worry about those things. Think about the birds, how I feed them. Right. They don't work. They can provide their own food. And I provide I provide for them. Right. So why are you worrying about a thousand subscribers? Why are you worrying about? Um, if your content is reaching people, continue to do it, continue to do it and have faith that I'm going to allow what I've already put inside of you to reach the, the necessary people that it needs to reach. Okay. We have to get to that place. And I'm learning that I didn't start right here, guys. I started way at the bottom. Like I didn't know anything. I did not know anything, but I continue to persist. I continue to push. And I do have a video that talk about being persistent right? Learn how to push through the odds, push through the people that are saying, no, you cannot do that. I continue to do that. And then I came across people like Robert and people like John to motivate you, to push you. And yes, my channel is about inspiration and motivation and confidence and all these things, but I too need to get that from someone else as well so that I am able, right, to continue. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Robert. I'm not commenting. I'm not there yet, but I'll get there because um, I, I did try to put the, the comments up on the screen, but I have a Mac, so I have to wait a little bit before I can do it. But I am reading your comments. Thank you. So we have to um, understand that. We have to get to a place where we understand that you don't worry about it. Stop worrying about it. It's going to happen. You just have to put your time in, invest in you, and keep feeding yourself positivity and you will be able to get to where you're getting, okay? Um, I, was play, I was in this place at one, one point, right? And feeling like you're not good enough, like you don't belong at the table. You know, like we see all these other YouTubers that have so many um, subscribers and their um, videos and everything, everything looks great. And we're feeling like we don't, we don't belong, right? We don't fit in. But let me remind you that you cannot be bothered by what people say or what the what people are saying okay don't worry about that who feel that you're qualified or you're not qualified because as long as you believe what God says about you right that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you maintain that position maintain those live stream come on every Thursday John because I'm looking for you to be able to jump in and chime in and support the people that are there as well and to be able to, to have, let my voice be heard so that in turn someone can get something from me as well so continue maintain that position don't fall off and say well I'm not getting too many people on there continue to do that right? Pull up a chair because this table is for all of us. This, this, um, platform is for anyone to don't feel like you're you don't belong. Pull up a chair and sit and come in and share what you have, um, to say, share what you have to, to, um, to provide in that, um, given place, right? I had to get to a place where I had to adjust how I was thinking because I felt like, okay, it had to be my family, it had to be my friends, 
to get me where I needed to be. And I found out that it's, it doesn't work that way. Um, we have to be able to understand that we're in a situation where a lot of times, um, and we talked about this, right, John, we talked about this last, um, last Thursday, a lot of times it's people that we don't know. It's people that we don't know that come in and support you to be to the level where you are, right? We have to understand that a lot of times we focus mainly on your friends and family saying, what, are, what is she doing? What is she doing? YouTube channel, really? What is that going to do? But you have to understand that if God give us a vision, if God says, Sam, I want you to, to just talk about, talk about inspiration, because that's always something that I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to inspire in any little way. I'm honestly afraid of the camera. I know you see I'm a nat natural Robert, but trust me, I'm like shaking right now. I'm always afraid of being in the, in the in the front scene. I would prefer to be in the back, put the content, create the plays, do whatever, and then let everybody else go in front and do it. But God told me, that's not what I want you to do. You have something to talk about. You have a testimony that people need to hear. And he reminded me, it's not what men say. So don't listen to anything anyone say. Do not listen to anything what anyone else say. Be believe, listen to me and understand that I told you to do something and you have to fulfill that because that is how I'm going to bless you. That is where your blessing is going to come and that is how you're going to be able to bless others. So if you do not remember anything else that I said tonight, if you don't remember anything else, remember this, it's not what men say, okay? It's always, always what God says. Okay, yep, it's hard for family to understand how YouTube works in, in live streaming. It is hard. It is hard for them to understand. They don't get it as much if they're not into it. They don't get it to understand that it's a community. It's, it's such a beautiful community to be able to share the way we do. It's a beautiful place to be, to be able to share and to, to connect the way we connect on different levels. And I don't think everyone will ever understand I'm John, but my mission my goal is to reach the people sitting right here in my in the privacy of my home to be able to reach someone that's across the sea that's far away and that can say i was truly blessed by what she said that is my ultimate goal that's my ultimate goal above all else i want you to understand that your value begins with the fact that you are created by god i started off this this um conversation saying that we that's where we that's how we were created in his image by him okay and it doesn't matter what else happened if you know that you are created by him you have the power you have the authority you are able you're so able to do whatever the scripture says i can do all things through christ who strengthened me you can speak to the mountains and it will be moved you can say you want to get 250 or you want to get to a thousand subscribers you want to get to what, whatever the limit is and if you do the work and you believe and you walk by faith and not by sight you will be able to that because of who your creator is right and you will no longer once you once you accept that fact and you understand that that you your value begins just by knowing that you are created by him and you walk with that authority you do not allow anything to stop you from thinking and allow you to think differently then you will no longer be looked over. No longer would anyone look over you or step over you or talk over you, right? You will no longer be pushed aside. Oh, he's just a small channel because what you have to say and you remember that I am created by God. I have something to say. Then you'll be able to focus, put your blinders on, stay focused and look ahead and you'll be able to do what it is that you want to do right so um remember that you are fearfully wanted for me that's a t-shirt that i have right here because i do have products with most of my um live stream and i try to have like a product a shirt that i um that is that will be listed in the link description below so if you remember that you're fearfully and wonderfully made and you are enough just pull up a chair pull up a chair you belong at the table you belong at the table there's nowhere else for you to go if you're on this live stream tonight and you watch this video in the replay pull up a chair <laughs> thank you yes thanks to you thanks to you john thanks to you i'm able to 
to um to be where I'm at because I'm watching YouTube channels like yours. I'm subscribed to your channel. I'm I'm focused and I'm I'm learning a lot just by watching you. And I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know I had a little problem here and there, but um we fixed that. So pull up a chair and sit at the table. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not qualified or that you don't belong. Whatever it is, you are enough. You are enough. You are talented, you are bold, you are brave, you are intelligent, whatever it is that you wanna do, you are enough. You don't need anyone else's validation because God already told you you were created in his image. And that alone right there, that alone tells you that you are just enough for whatever it is that you wanna do, okay? And that is it for my segment of, um, um, and Samantha's inspiration, Samantha's inspiration, and now as promised, we talked about a little earlier, um, I'm going to give you another inspirational product that you can use daily, okay? So like I said, we all need daily inspiration. Thank you, thank you, Robert. We all need this inspiration to motivate. I know I need it, right? To motivate and build our confidence. Yes, thank you, thank you. We all need it, right? And I do have um, at IBSM, which is inspired by Samantha Matthews, we are dedicated to providing that. That is the whole purpose of this live, is to provide um, that product in, um, in the live stream. So an additional product that I have is called the Inspirational Jar. Now the Inspirational Jar is a product that, ha that is filled with scriptures and inspirational quotes. Scriptures and inspirational quotes, and I'm gonna leave one with you tonight. And I'm just gonna do the same thing we did with the affirmation. I'm gonna go ahead and read it, but this one is a little different. So I'm gonna pull one out of the jar and we will read it and see what it says tonight. You're welcome, you're welcome, John. Wow, this one is my favorite scripture. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, talking about being enough, right? For I know the thoughts I think towards you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an experience Expected in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Now talk about being enough. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. Why are we worrying? We were created by God. And if you believe that and you know that, do not worry about tomorrow. He said he know the thoughts he have for us. Right? Thoughts of peace to give us an expected end. There's nothing else for you to worry about. There's absolutely nothing else for you to worry about. Right. So if we can, I'll leave that scriptures with you tonight. And it's Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And you can meditate on that for tonight. Tomorrow, I will be back on Thursday night um, at 830. So I will see you guys on. And if there's any questions or comments, I can go through and read a few of them um, on Instagram and see Precious. Is thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any, let's see. Manna from the sky, that's right. He provided manna from the sky for those birds. Yeah, All right. So if anyone have any comments um, or questions, thank you so much. Thanks, John. Bye. Well, I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll come in tomorrow night. I will come on in tomorrow. Okay, so. Let's see. All right, so thank you all again for watching. Don't forget, please don't forget to um, leave an inspiration in the comment section below 
or a list of topics you would like for me to talk about. And if you found value in what I've said in this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more inspirational videos and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And for more drip, check out my other